How do you become a voice actor, you may ask, mm. especially an award-winning voice actor <laughs> that is featured in shows like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right. Animaniacs, Jimmy Neutron, Pinky and the Brain. It goes Good on choice. and on. Well, voice actor uh, is our next guest, voice actor. He has achieved so much in his career as well. We hear from Rob Paulson on how he did it and the motivating story of how he overcame an unexpected obstacle. Rob, it is so great to see you. Welcome to Great Day Washington. Hello, ladies. <laughs> Great to be here from live in the water tower. Uh, I love it. We're going to get plenty more of those, I hope, during yes. this interview. I mean, you and your voice have created so many of these iconic characters that yeah. we all know and that now our children are growing up on. But I have to ask you, how did you even know you could do these voices True. and how did you get started? Well, when I was a kid, the only other thing I wanted to be was a hockey player for the Detroit Red Wings. And I learned very early on that I had neither the talent, temperament, nor dental insurance to make a nickel <laughs> as a hockey player. And the, other, the only other thing that really floated my boat was performing. I don't know that um, I'm any different than any other little wacky kid who likes to make silly noises and kind of maybe do it in high school when he shouldn't ought to and that type of thing. Um, but I was very fortunate that I was bitten by the acting and singing bug really, really early. And um, I just think my parents, because of the fact that they encouraged I and my siblings to perform in high school and such, they created a monster in my case. And um, though I didn't move to LA years and years ago to ply this particular trade, I was a singer and an actor in the traditional sense. Um, I lived that axiom that opportunities meet is uh, a rather luck is when opportunity meets preparation. And the opportunity came to audition for cartoons. I jumped on it, and all these years later, I'm still here. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you mentioned the auditions. Do you go in like with an idea of how you want the voice to sound in your head, and you tell them, like, this is how I would do it? Yes, with that and the folks, of course, on the other side of the, of the glass with all the money, they tell <laughs> you also what they feel and how they'd like things to go. And so... Um, <laughs> Uh, it's just a, it's really is a deeply collaborative effort mm. and uh, enormous amounts of fun. Just it, it sure beats the heck out of working for a living, I'll tell you. It oh, makes us smile. I, yeah, it does. Yeah. It makes us smile. I'm sure it's so much fun to come up with the uh, the, the voices in your head. And I know we were yeah, teenage they around Ninja and Turtles. Sure. <laughs> Seems like it. <laughs> well, what I love about your story, too, I mean, you've won awards for your work. You are extremely talented, of course, but not too long ago, you were diagnosed with throat cancer, right? So all of a sudden, your uh, gift to I all of us. I was surprised. What 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 what's the axiom? Uh, we make plans and God laughs. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I'm wearing, I'm trying to straighten it out today, but I'm wearing, I look like I've been hit by a baseball bat. I'm trying to straighten out my um, head and neck cancer alliance hat. Wow. Thank you very much for the close up. I'm, uh, the spokesperson for the Head and Neck Cancer Alliance. A few years ago at this time, I was battling uh, stage three metastatic squamous cell carcinoma of the throat. Wow. Uh, not of the toe, not of the hair, but of the throat. And um, uh, due to, of course, the love of my family and some world-class healthcare, I was able to get by it. More importantly, I was able to still do my gig. Um, <laughs> it was uh, quite harrowing as one can imagine, but you know, why not me? Um, you guys, I'm sure, know people whom you love that you may have lost to cancer, and uh, it's sadly so ubiquitous. Uh, and the silver lining is that now I'm a spokesperson for the Head and Neck Cancer Alliance at headandneck.org, and you can go there and check out my story um, and millions of others uh, who have been diagnosed, um, you know, with different cancers of the throat and head and neck. and. Um, and the world-class technology and cutting-edge treatment that allow us to not only live, but thrive. Right. I'm working just as I had before the treatment, and uh, I, uh, the biggest compliment I get is when people find out I had throat cancer and they can't tell the difference. So I'm a wow. profoundly yeah. lucky Ninja Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> um, was this before or after you wrote your book, Voice Lessons? Or is, is some of that journey in your book? Yes. Yes, that is exactly. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, <laughs> That's exactly what the book is about. And it's not a compendium of, and then I did, and then I won an Emmy, and then I won this, and that it's, it's uh, it really is uh, about um, dealing with the curveballs that life throws to all of us. Um, look, you guys, no one gets out of here without a couple of dings, mm -hmm. no one. Mm -hmm. And just flip on the news, you guys are in the information business, 
every day. How many times do you have to keep yourself from tearing up when you see something uh, on local news or international news or just go, good Lord, how do people deal with it? <laughs> well, we all have to uh, in some way, shape or form. And the fact is that humor, joy, kindness, empathy are all things I think we all um, have in our quiver. But I have to tell you that in my case, uh, those particular um, aspects, I guess, of my personality were really heightened by my cancer experience. So, yeah, the book is all about getting through it with as much joy and laughter as you can. And as I say, laughter is the best medicine. The cool thing is you can't OD and the refills are free and I'm <laughs> yeah. sticking to it. You make Thank a lot you. of us laugh. Can yes. you say goodbye to our viewers in a, a, a typical Rob Paulson way? I will. I'll say, let's see. I can do a character called Carl Weezer from Jimmy Neutron saying, <laughs> hey, thank you for watching. Great day, Washington. It's a great day. It is for me because I get to eat happy food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love it. Thank, thank you so you. much, Rob. So great to have you here. My pleasure. Thank you, ladies. Take good care and happy new year. Ah, uh, he was such a joy yes, to so talk to. Sweet. Just such positive energy, an inspiring yeah. story. I love that nobody gets out of here with yes. a couple of dings. Yes. That was a great line right there. Well, really a great thing to remember. And you've got to look up his book. As he mentioned, Voice Lessons, it is out on Amazon. So you can go yeah. and buy it and, and learn more from him. Very inspiring. Yeah, Rob, thank you for that.